Hello and welcome to the podcast. This is K0MRD, your radio prepper, and I'm here with a new podcast and I hope you enjoy it. We're going to be discussing communications for preppers and everybody else that's interested. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello, this is K0MRD, your radio prepper, and this is part of a blog for my podcast. It's my hope that I'm able to impart some knowledge on amateur radio as well as other forms of radio communication. And I encourage everyone that listens to my podcast to get your amateur radio license. Why is this important? Because we need the ability to communicate when there's a disruption in the communication infrastructure. I'm not talking about something happening by some deranged group of people taking down our communications grid. Not at all. Mother Nature can do that all on her own. Thank you very much. I'm talking about severe weather, tornadoes, hurricanes, and the like. These are more likely to knock out our communication lines than an extremist attack is. And this is why I prepare. Yes, I'm a prepper, and I have been since 1998. I'm an amateur radio license holder since 2009. I hold a general class license and have communicated as far away from Iowa as Austria. That's right, I, from my home, I've communicated to Austria, and it was really cool. The whole reason I started this podcast, and my YouTube channel, and my blog is to get more people to understand that we, as social animals, need to be able to communicate with each other. We need this ability not only to send and receive crucial information, but also because it's good for our mental health. We need to be able to communicate with each other simply for our own mental well-being. A study done in 2000 shows that solitary confinement in prisoners can cause extreme stress and psychiatric disorders and this article can be found at www.headspace.com in the article they are referring to prisoners in solitary confinement however it could just as easily be from isolation due to inclement weather such as being housebound during a blizzard having a a means of communication having a means of communication during times like that is really just good for our mental psyche. Being able to reach out and talk to somebody who likewise is housebound just to check on them even if it's for a couple minutes a day really does wonders to one's psyche. While I am an amateur radio guy I do not dismiss Citizens Band Radio or the General Mobile Cert radio services, which are really good and viable communication tools that should be utilized by anyone interested in communications before, during, and after disruptions such as weather knocking out our communications. Well, I reckon that's all I've got to say for today. This is K0MRD, your radio prepper, and I am signing off. You have just listened to the K0MRD Radio Prepper Podcast with your host, K0MRD. Subscribe to our podcast on iTunes and Google Play to catch our next episode. Thanks for taking the time to listen. This is K0MRD, your radio prepper, signing off, 7-3.